Dear sons and daughters of planet Earth. I am Sananda. Once again I can be here with all of you, bringing all my love, bringing all my harmony, to the journey of each one of you. My children, take care of your bodies. Drink plenty of water. Everywhere on the planet, the energies are intense and doing a great job of cleaning. All this cleaning generates dirt, and that dirt has to come out. And water has this role, to cleanse, to scan your cells and take away everything that is no longer useful. Over time, over the ages, you have become accustomed to keeping things. To keep thoughts, to keep moments, to keep stories, especially the most painful ones that brought you the most pain and suffering. All of this was encouraged because it generated anger towards something, it generated sadness, melancholy, pain. Suffering never ended. It was encouraged every minute. And with that, your cells have been filled with many energies from many eras ago. When we talk about cleansing, it's precisely in relation to these energies, which serve no purpose. They only bring weight and pain. When we talk about cleansing, we don't change anything. The moment will not be erased. You won't forget anything. All that energy of pain and suffering attached to that moment will just go away. It will no longer weigh you down, it will cease to exist, and you will become lighter and lighter. More and more ready to receive yes, positive energies that don't weigh you down, don't carry a burden. When you have joyful moments, positive feelings are not stored in your cells. They don't carry that weight, they just stay in your memories. And often you even forget them, because you value the bad moments, the ones that are stored away. So don't be afraid, in any kind of process, to release, let go, untie, unlock, cleanse the energies inside. Don't accumulate negative feelings. Don't accumulate negative feelings. Why go back to pain? Why go back to suffering? Not to forget that someone did something to you? In order not to forget the bad time you had? And for what purpose will this help you? Not to forget that person, to always remember what they did to you. And where is forgiveness? Where is the moment to forgive so that you can move on? So, my sons and daughters, start letting go of all that. Start walking a new path. A lighter, gentler, more peaceful path. A path where there is no room to harbor bad feelings. Because even if they are generated, they will be discarded, not kept. Because there will be an immediate request for forgiveness for every act committed. And it won't accumulate, it won't be kept, it will be forgotten. Not forgotten forever, forgotten to be remembered, forgotten to be mulled over, forgotten to be fostered. Now, my sons and daughters, is the time to look forward. It's about generating a new future. It's about being ready for what's to come. Now is not the time to reminisce about the past. It's not about going through old drawers. It's time to clean out the old drawers and throw away everything you no longer use. Everything you no longer want to remember. Detachment is very important at this time, from everything and everyone. Don't get attached to anyone, because the suffering could be very great. You need to understand that what ends is the physical body, not the soul. And the soul will never forget what it experienced with you. Just as you yourselves will one day remember everyone who has passed through your lives. Yes, it's a lot of people, but they will be flashes of pleasant or not so pleasant moments. But you'll know how to deal with them, you'll know how to handle them, without causing any damage. Just the memory. And you will meet many of them again. And you'll remember the great times you had. It will be a time of very good memories. It will be a time of great reunions. It will be a time of great joy. But to reach this time, you need to let go of what holds you back, let go of what prevents you from moving forward. Let go. Let go. Look forward, don't look back. What's past is past, leave it behind. Look ahead. Because ahead of you is where your evolution lies.